So if you are interested in investing in real estate, but you don't have thousands of dollars, nor do you want to manage the whole process of getting pre-approved and down payments and getting inspections and all that, then you want to definitely like this video and watch the rest of it because I'm going to talk about Fundrise, which is one of my favorite platforms that I use for real estate investing. And I'm going to walk you through my Fundrise portfolio and tell you why I continue to invest in it. So in this video, we're going to cover a few things. Number one, what Fundrise is, I'm gonna walk you through that. Number two is I'm gonna give you three reasons why I continue to invest with Fundrise. I'm gonna give you a peek into my portfolio and I'm going to tell you if this might be a good you know, opportunity for you based on the kind of person that you are. So let's get into it. If you have never heard of Fundrise, Fundrise is a real estate crowdfunding platform that allows you to invest in private real estate, such as single family homes, town homes, and even commercial buildings, such as malls um, or mixed use properties, which would be like an apartment on the top and like a nail salon on the bottom. Um, and these are basically called REITs and they're private REITs, E-REITs, um, and REITs are not just unique to Fundrise. You can purchase REITs on the stock market, which is what we should all be familiar with, which could be the S&P 500, NASDAQ, etc. And I invest in those too, to be clear. But this video, we're going to talk about Fundrise in particular um, because the platform is the most user friendly to me. Um, even though I do invest in public REITs um, on the stock market, it takes a little more effort to kind of understand which ones are best for me. And it doesn't take that same effort when it comes to Fundrise. It's just a lot more user friendly. So that is what REITs are. REITs stand for Real Estate Investment Trust. And I, the way that I explain them to people who have never heard of them is that they are very similar to stocks in Facebook, Google, Apple, etc. Um, and they operate the same, where you are basically a shareholder of this bigger corporation without actually having to manage the whole process of running the corporation. You're not the CEO of it, you're just a shareholder, meaning that you own a portion of said company. But with REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust, they're not companies per se, they're real estate properties. And that can be residential real estate, such as what we live in, or it could be commercial real estate, which could be malls, um, gyms, things like that. So the difference between public REITs and private REITs is usually the public REITs um, are part of some bigger company that owns real estate. Think of like a Berkshire Hathaway, for example, if you've ever um, looked at what they own, they own malls, they own apartment buildings, you know, so it's a part of a bigger conglomerate versus these private REITs via Fundrise they could be a single family home where like, that's it. You know, it can be an apartment building and that's it. And that's literally what it is. And I'm gonna highlight somewhere later in the video. Um, I'm gonna provide a screenshot of some of the properties that I'm actively invested in based on Fundrise. So again, these are stocks, but the stocks are actually of properties and they're not termed as stocks. You just happen to own a portion of this real estate without having to do the work of owning it outright like with my home right now if something breaks i have to fix it you know but if something breaks at these properties that you own a part of your portfolio you're not fixing it they're not calling you like they don't even have your information you're like a silent partner if you will of, of real estate so that is what REITs are and that's what Fundrise is. And again, the difference is that it's not public properties. These are private properties that you're investing in if you go down the Fundrise route, which is what we're gonna be talking about for the rest of this video. So let's jump into some of the reasons why I love Fundrise and why I love REITs um, and why I continue to invest in them over time. So number one is that it is a hands-off and passive investment for me and for you if you decide to do it. So. 90% of the revenue that REITs earn, whether it's public REITs or private REITs, are required to go to investors. And that's the number one differentiator between investing in an Apple, a Google, a Facebook, and investing in REITs, which are real estate investment trusts, is that the revenue is required by law to go to investors. The people that are putting their money into these REITs will always see, not always because things do happen, but they are 
expect it to receive a return because the money is not staying in the properties that they that 10 percent is staying there but the rest of it is going to people that are actively investing and you don't have to do anything besides literally give your money to do this so people you know a lot of people want to get invested they want to invest in real estate but they don't want to flip the house they don't want to say for a down payment they don't want to go through all of that you know they just want to give some money and make some money based off that money and that's literally what REITs provide you with it's a hands-off process because i know what it's like to go through the home buying process i've been through it many many times and i know that as i move towards more of my nomadic lifestyle where i'm just collecting money and not having to work for it i'm likely going to be investing a lot more in REITs more than i already do now because I don't want to have to be on the hook for um, plumbing need being needed. I don't want to have to be on the hook for finding tenants for my place. Like that's just not of interest to me. I mean, it is for the places that I know I'm going to get, but like to just have 100 properties in my portfolio, that doesn't even, it's not even conducive to the life that I want to live. So like if you are like me and you don't want to have to be managing all these properties you don't have thousands of dollars to invest right now in real estate you may have a couple of hundred dollars you may have fifty dollars you know like and you just want to let it grow over time then you know fundrise and reach is a good opportunity for you um to consider you know ultimately this is not investment advice you have to do your own research and determine what's best for you this is just why i me myself personally continue to invest in REITs via fundrise Number two is that it allows me to diversify what my investments are. So Fundrise and REITs is one of many things that I'm invested in. I also invest in index funds. I invest in ETFs. I have individual stocks and I also am purchasing a rental property. In addition to making my current home a rental property, like I have traveling nurses that stay with me over time. So my money is split in addition to my high yield savings account and some of those other things that you all should already know about if you've been watching my videos, like I'm diversified. So like if ish hits the fan with these REITs and they don't make me any money, which I'm going to talk about later. So stick around and I'm going to tell you why I ended up adjusting my REIT strategy. I'm not on the hook. I'm not, you know, losing all my money. If things hit the fan with the S&P 500 and my index funds are performing that's fine because my money is split across multiple things. So knowing that I'm gonna be making money with REITs because 90% of the revenue is required to go to investors like me, that's something I need to be invested in because it'll allow me an opportunity to make some real money passively, you know, versus maybe if the stock market doesn't perform that well for a year, at least my money is diversified across many different opportunities. So that's another reason why I continue to invest with Fundrise and with REITs is because I know that if ish hits the fan, I'm not out on a limb, you know, and I only invest what I can afford. I've adjusted my budget to be, you know, conducive to the lifestyle goals that I have. And a lot of my lifestyle goals require money. So I need to be diversified because I know that we're in this market and things are fluctuating at all times. So like, it's a great way to diversify where your money is so that you have an opportunity to make money across multiple things. So that's reason number two. And reason number three is that it is a familiar experience for me. Like I said, if you're invested in, a, um, you know, some larger Vanguard real estate, you know, index fund or private REIT or public REIT, you may not even understand the terminology around it. You know, it's like, okay, the expense ratio is this and like, it just, Learning how to read like a prospectus <laughs> takes time. And like, I'm still refining my own process around it. And thank God for YouTube. Like I've learned how to understand and go directly to the things that actually matter and understand the performance of, you know, various index funds and ETFs, but that does not come easy. It takes a lot of learning and a lot of studying that a lot of us just don't have time to do. Now, I'm not gonna say use that as an excuse because we have YouTube, we have audio books, like, you have to be willing to put in the work to like really grow, you know, your investment knowledge, which is what I had to do. I've been doing that, I feel like for the last 10 years, but it just can feel very overwhelming. And it's like all this terminology just, just doesn't make sense. So when it comes to Fundrise and, you know, these private REITs, it's a familiar process in a sense of 
you're gonna see some properties in Savannah, Georgia. You're gonna see properties in Los Angeles, California. Like, and they're gonna be properties that you can understand. It's gonna be a single family home. It's gonna be an apartment complex. It's gonna be a new mall that's being built. Like, it's not gonna be something that you don't understand because likely we're living in these places that they're investing in. So like, you have a personal connection to it. It doesn't feel like it's some far-fetched thing with all these you know, properties and stuff that just doesn't make sense to you. Like these are things that you can literally envision. You know, you may even live in a city where there are active investments being managed, you know? So for me, that was important. It's for me to not feel like you're speaking something that I can't understand. And I needed it to be an easy to understand process. So we're gonna dive into what my portfolio looks like, but it just doesn't feel overwhelming to choose an investment. They make it very easy for you. If you want something that's income-based, if you wanna collect those dividends on a quarterly basis, like I do, then they have an income real estate fund. You know, if you aren't interested in, in um, dividends, getting that money, you know, right now, and you maybe wanna get it later and you wanna see the properties appreciate, meaning that you know, they're worth maybe 500,000 right now, but maybe in 10 years, they're worth double that. And I wanna have my portfolio sit there until I'm ready to cash out and make that money, then you might be interested in growth-based, you know, REITs. But again, they make it so easy to understand. Income versus growth. Like, just listening to me say that right now, I'm sure it connects in your brain versus something that just feels so, like, it feels like I need to go to finance school to understand, like, who wants to do that? Like, we don't work in finance. I don't work in finance. I'm just trying to get this money. And I'm trying to help y'all get this money. And so Fundrise makes it easier for you to kind of understand what's happening in your portfolio. And if you are interested in Fundrise after those three reasons and just getting an understanding of REITs, I do have an ebook on sale. I'm going to be, show something on the screen that dives into, you know, what Fundrise is, like how to really get your portfolio and your account up and running. That's really what the, the, the ebook, ebook is about. You're going to have screenshots of what properties I'm invested in. You're going to learn more about my investment strategy, but also the other strategies that are available. Um, and it's gonna really just give you a deep dive and a well-rounded overview of Fundrise so that you set up your account for success and you're not stuck. Like, I get so many people reaching out to me, you know, because they've signed up for Fundrise and they don't know what the next step is. And it's like, I want you to take the next step. I want you to just sign up. Like, I want you to feel confident as you're in the portfolio and you're choosing investments that are unique to your goals. My goal is income, passive income, not so much growth. I want my money right now so that I can invest it into other stuff, you know, but some people might not be interested in that. They may be interested in that long-term appreciation. So like the ebook is linked in the description. Um, I've gotten so much good feedback from it already. I uh, soft launched it on TikTok and so many people have purchased it already and gotten their accounts up and running. So it's only $6.99, like it'll, the price will likely increase next year, not next year, Lord Jesus, next month. So please get it while it's this price because I want you guys to get in there and get started. Like I'm an action, baby, I'm an action taker and I need you to be an action taker if you're watching these videos. Do your research, of course, but like don't sit on this. Like it's $10 to open an account. Like it's not your whole savings, okay? Get started, purchase something and continue to add that money over time. So. That is the three reasons why, and that is what uh, Fundrise continues to provide for me from an overall real estate investing perspective. So the rest of this video, I'm going to actually not talk on this screen, and I'm going to pull up, um, I'm going to split the screen so that you guys can get a peek into um, my Fundrise portfolio because you guys have been asking for it, and I've been like, I don't want to share all of my stuff because there's a lot of personal information, but I shared what was general enough and comfortable enough for me to share. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the peek into my portfolio and leave any questions or comments that you have below. And let me know what other topics you have interest in. So I will see you guys in the next video and please sign up and take action today. Watch the rest of the video though. Okay, so this is what my Fundrise account looks like. My account value is a little over $2,300. I've had about $90 um, in growth since I've last logged in a couple of weeks ago. And my net returns thus far is $379, which is very good. You know, like for this little amount that I have in my account, I've been growing it very slowly and steadily. 
but I've been monitoring my results. And so you see the annualized return from a, a, a net perspective is 8%. And if you are following the stock market, usually you get between seven and 12. So this is right in line. And again, my account initially was not the supplemental income plan. It was the balanced investing, meaning that I had a, a balanced amount of growth um based REITs meaning that I may not be making the money right now until they actually sell the properties and get tenants in there versus the income based REITs where they actually do have the tenants or these companies that are renting out these spaces so I noticed with the growth um the growth REITs that I had they weren't performing that well over these last couple of months and obviously we know that's because you know people aren't buying properties because the interest rates are so high so real estate impacts everybody the same way. So I said, well, let me focus on places that actually have tenants in here. So like, I'm gonna show you guys more my portfolio, but this is what the homepage looks like. Um, it shows you your progress, you know, it shows you your value, your net returns, and you can kind of adjust it as well as you see me doing here. Yeah, as you can see, it's continuously growing up because I'm continuing to add money. Um, but this is the homepage. This is what it looks like. You have some articles you can read. They'll give you details on like, um, you know, different updates to your portfolio, anything that they potentially sold, such as an exit update. It'll give you your dividends update, stuff like that. So um, if you want to deep dive into your portfolio, you can click right here to get that or right here. Um, so we'll just click right here for now. And then this will give you a detail into like what um which funds you actually have so i had a lot of growth REITs and again they weren't really performing the way that i needed them to do so at first they were in 2019 2020 but then you know you look at and 2021 but 2022 things started tracking a little negatively and i was like okay well at this point in 2023 i'm losing money so let me get out of the growth REITs <laughs> and let me focus more on the income based REITs. so these are the ones that where they actually are making money on them the people are paying you know their rents whether it's a commercial building or a residential building those are going to perform a little better so that's kind of what i've been focused on um and because my account has been balanced investing this whole time my returns have been very low because it's been a balance between these two. But now I'm gonna see a lot more traction down here because I'm only focused on supplemental income. I've adjusted my goal for my Fundrise account. So that's what you'll see here. This tab is the investment tab. We're not gonna click on that because that's a lot of my personal information. A transactions tab, which shows you kind of, you know, uh, a layout of all the transactions you've made within the account. And then the more tab, which gives you, you know, some investments you can browse. You can adjust your goal. I have a passive income goal, but that's personal. I'm not gonna share that right now. But if you wanna browse the different investments that are available, the flagship fund is pretty much in everybody's account. Um, that's kind of their flagship opportunity. Um, it is focused more so on long-term appreciation. Um, which means that you may not like make a lot of money in the beginning, but you know, they are building more housing, built for rent housing, which means that they're gonna be collecting the rent for that. There's an income real estate fund, which is what I have and I'm heavily invested in. It's open right now. Um, and you can learn more about what your goal is. Right here is cash flow, which means that you're gonna get the cash versus appreciation, which means that you're gonna get the growth. You may not get the money right now, but when it's time for you to sell, that's when you'll really make your money there. Um, and then the innovation fund, which is also appreciation focused. So this is going to be those high growth, you know, companies. Um, if you don't want to invest in real estate and you want to invest in companies, you know, tech companies, for example, I do not invest in that right now. That's not one that I um, am investing in. It's pretty much these two funds that I have focus on. And then if you want to get even more specific around like location, there's an East Coast REIT that um, I also am not invested in. There's a development REIT, which I'm also not invested in because I'm not interested in appreciation right now. And of course the growth REITs and I had the balance REIT for a very long time. And again, it started tracking down. So I had to let go of that one. So that's what Fundrise looks like. And it, it's very simple as you can see the the user experience is very simple and they have so many different articles uh, they have a help center like it's really been beneficial for me to balance out what i'm invested in i'm still invested in the stock market i have stuff in the s p 500 like i have my Roth, which i'm investing in public reits with 
you know, but this is another strong strategy that's been making me money. And when it's time for me to sell, I know I'm going to make even more money because there's going to be growth attached to some of these REITs that I've been holding on to for years. So that is Fundrise in a nutshell. So that's a peek into my portfolio.